In this video, let's learn about Prettier. Prettier is an opinionated code formatter that ensures that all outputted code conforms to a consistent style. Again, something that is really important in a team with multiple developers. Let's begin by installing Prettier. In the terminal, run the command yarn add dash dash dev dash dash exact prettier. The command makes sure that everyone in the project gets the exact same version of prettier. Even a patch release of prettier can result in slightly different formatting, so you wouldn't want different team members using different versions and formatting each other's changes back and forth. Now once it is installed, we're going to add an npm script to format the files in our project. Very similar to the lint script. In package.json, in the scripts section, add another script. Let's call it format. And this is going to be prettier. Ignore path, git ignore. Dash dash write with a glob pattern, star star slash star, and the extension can be TS, TSX, CSS, and SCSS. Make sure to escape the quotes with a backslash. We're basically saying, hey prettier, ignore the folders specified in the git ignore file, and for all the other files in the project that end with the extension .ts, TSX, CS, or SCSS, please format the code. In our test file, if I now add spaces and run yarn format, you can see logs of files that have been affected. We have our test file application.test.tsx where the additional space has now been removed. But apart from this, we have a few more files and in each of them, Single quotes have been replaced by double quotes. This is the default option that Prettier ships with. But as you can see in the terminal, we are able to format the entire project with one command. Of course, you are always free to specify your own configuration and formatting options. You can do it similar to ESLint in package.json, but let me showcase an external file in this video. In the project root folder, create a .prettierrc.json file. For ESLint, you would need a .eslintrc.json file. Now within this prettier configuration file, we can specify a JSON of formatting options. I am going to add a few from the docs. Semi, false, single quote true. So we are saying semicolon should not be present in our code and single quotes must be used instead of double quotes. If I now rerun yarn format, you can see a whole bunch of changes. In all the files, semicolon has been removed and double quotes have been replaced by single quotes. Now you don't have to follow these specific formatting options, but I just wanted to show how you could configure your own set of formatting options. Now, although running a script is great, what I prefer is auto formatting a file when I save changes. For that, we need to install the Prettier extension. You can see that I already have it installed. Next, we need to update VS Code user settings. From the menu, select Code if you're on Mac or File if you're on Windows and select Preferences. The shortcut is Command, Comma or Control, Comma. Search for Format on Save and enable the option. You can also click on the JSON version of the settings and make sure your default formatter is ESBENP prettier-vscode. You will also see the new setting 
editor.format on save to true. Once you do that, head back to a test file, add a bunch of spaces, and now if you save the file, it is automatically formatted. You don't have to run the npm script every time you make a change. Finally, when using both ESLint and Prettier, you need to turn off some ESLint rules that conflict or are unnecessary when using Prettier. For that, we need to add another ESLint plugin. In the terminal, run the command yarn add d eslint config prettier. Once the installation completes, add the plugin to the extents array in package.json. And that is pretty much about adding prettier to your project. Let me quickly summarize what we have done. We learned that prettier is an opinionated code formatter that ensures all outputted code conforms to a consistent style. We installed prettier and added an npm script to format all files in the project except for the ones present in the git ignore file. We learned how to configure the prettier formatting options by specifying a configuration file which is prettierrc.json. We then learned about the prettier VS Code extension and enabled auto formatting on save. Finally, we added the ESLint plugin for Prettier, which avoids conflicts when running both ESLint and Prettier in the same project. In the next video, let's take a look at Husky. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.